Welcome back to DigiBest, guys. We are here at Store Championship for BT10. I am on the left playing Imperial against Blue Flare on the right. Really good start for me. Opening up a rookie, this is Labramon. This is exactly the rookie you want to see in your nursery. And then setting up a Davis Ken. Hopefully I can find my XVmon or maybe my Stingmon into Imperial to start my combo. Potent starts off with their uh, blue flare blue boost, blazing blazing blue boost, blazing memory boost. Um, they don't find the tamer, but they do find um, some of their blue flare cards setting me on one. Good choke, I can push out my guy here to gain a memory. Give me two with my Davis Ken. Evo it up into my Leomon. I don't have all my pieces, so Leomon is a good piece to uh, memory bank, get some draws, hopefully find my pieces there. Hitting into a uh, Forbidden Trident. Uh, this will be good removal for him if I ever find a um, a uh, Madoki Beatamon to lock out his memory booster. So he uses it early in case I do find the Madoki Beatamon. Goes into a Metal Greymon for 5 cost, stunning my Stingmon. It can punch because it does rush, punching over my Leomon, giving me 2 memory. It's pretty alright. I'll draw for the Unleashing effect, then I'll draw for turn, gain a memory back for my Stingmon um, because I have a Davis Ken. I can um, Evo that up and choke him on one. I'm having trouble finding the pieces that I need in order to just go in. Um, but so is he, seeing that he isn't able to Evo up his rookie in his nursery. Swinging in, he'll find me a Davis, which is nice. Hopefully this will find me pieces. Uh, the Labramon is probably what I'm going to be going for, but XV is also a good piece there for me as well. Going for the Labramon because I do need a rookie to Evo up my nursery. And then he'll play the Sword Joe. Uh, setting me on my 5 because I do have a dual color blue green pale Jimon. Swing with the pale and just spend. I'll get a draw of the Stingmon. It doesn't have piercing, sorry, it doesn't have uh, jamming because it doesn't have the XV underneath it. So I will um, fall to the 10k guy in the security. I play my Lydramon. I don't really have very good pieces to Evo up consistently here. Um, but making the Stingmon isn't so bad. It does set up my Davis Ken and giving me lots of memory to work with. Um, plus if I can do, if I do draw into my combo for my Labramon, then at least I can uh, threaten lethal that way. Hitting with the Metal Greymon, stripping the source out of my pair with the Sorjo. He can play another Blazing Boost, giving me my three memory, having a look at top six. He does find his Tamer, as well as a Rookie. Looks like he'll get a Rookie a piece and then play the Tamer. I'll go to 5 with my Davis Ken because I got a blue green and my, none of my guys are stunned. So I can swing with the Dino B out of security. Living the check, I can either up the Dino B into Pale, unsuspend it with the Davis Ken, um, and bounce back his Metal Graham onto hand, losing his piece, which is really nice. I can swing with a guy, and yep, I'm threatening the Ethel here with my double hit with my Imperial. So swing, unsuspend, and then swing again with the Imperial. This will seal up the game. Um, unfortunately, we were both bricking kind of awkwardly, so we couldn't really show the um, all the combos in both their games. But uh, we got there in the end. Really poor start here for Blue Fair. Just hard playing a male Bergeron. Like, that's really poor considering that uh, there's no um, searching effects through just hard playing. It's really just like perhaps we would be better off to even just pass considering that I gave away so much memory. Finding uh, my XV and my Stingmon through my Davis search is really nice. I can Evo up into my XV to choke him on one. And now I'm set up my play for Imperial next turn. If I just have, if I have the Imperial going in. I can raise my XV. Swing with the XV, I'll gain a memory of the Labramon as well as a draw of the Demi V. Living the check, it's got jamming. Yeah, my opponent just shows his hand to the camera, demonstrating just how poor it is. Not looking great for him. I'll go into a um, Stingmon, then um, DNA into a Pale. Bounce back one of his guys to the bottom of the deck. I can swing, unsuspend, gain back some memory, and get double draws. He finds a Sorjo, but um, that's not great for him, considering that I am doing so much damage so early in the game. Also, finding a Flare is pretty good. I'll go ahead and him on one. Uh, he's in a really weak position right now, 
playing a death axe for 11 cost to remove my pale because potentially I am threatening a lethal next turn if I go into the fighter mode after both my checks. Um, I'll go into the Labra and then into XV, paying the 2 memory. I'm in a pretty good position right now because he's nowhere near threatening lethal. Um, so I can just uh, go ahead and establish all my pieces that I need in order to go for a, a big push next turn. Getting my Lydramon and my Stingmon here. Just playing a Vmon and eviling up into a Leomon for a blocker just in case he can do something really weird. Uh, but this was a misplay here because uh, the Death Axe will activate to destroy my Leomon and then Leomon will actually give me two memory and a draw. Um, so my, my goal was to choke him on one, um, but um, I did forget about the Death Axe effect, unfortunately. <clears throat> um, using the Forbidden Trident to bounce back my Madoki, he'll save his guy underneath his Swordro. Swigging with the Death Axe, finding me a Davis Ken, pitching his booster, going to 4 memory. You can play a Metal Greymon and then pass turn. I'm in mean, a really good position here, he's only got 2 security. Gaining, I get up being set 3, then I'll go ahead and gain 2 memory when I push out my XV. So I can swing with the XV, he's got no blockers here. Gain a memory back and then draw a card. Living the check because we've got jamming. Go into my Stingmon. Yes, here we go. And then DNA up into Pale. This is all pretty good here. Yep. And then this is threatening a lethal here once I live the check. So swinging in, got jamming on suspend, gain back a memory, uh, drawing two, and then swing for game. Really simple stuff here. Like, just Imperial it just really put some work against these cross decks. Um, and then if you just do, if you just move faster than these cross decks, then there's nothing they can really do about it except take the hits. Um, that's why I chose it to take into store championship. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow. I'll have more games with the Imperial list uh, going into our store championship. Subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.